Hello, everyone. Today I'm going to talk about bronchiolitis imaging. So what is bronchiolitis? Bronchiolitis is a broad term that refers to any form of inflammation of the bronchiole. It is often used in situations where the inflammation primarily occurs in airways smaller than 2 mm. It can carry variable, clinical, functional, and morphological expression. The bronchiolar disease may be a primary or a secondary condition. According to some author, there is some overlap with this term small airway disease. So sometimes we don't talk about, we, we don't say bronchiolitis, we just say it is the small airway disease. So many diseases, but include bronchiolitis also in this small airway disease. So bronchiolitis can classify into two groups by the process of the disease. The first one is inflammatory bronchiolitis. There are something like infective bronchiolitis, infectious bronchiolitis, bronchiolitis associated with hypersensitive pneumonitis, respiratory bronchiolitis, respiratory bronchiolitis in tertiary lung disease, follicular bronchiolitis, one bronchiolitis, ipsos pain bronchiolitis, bronchiolitis with associated bronchiectasis. If related to fibrotic chain, we, we can say constrictive bronchiolitis or bronchiolitis, bronchiolitis of the lung. Or other specific form according to underlying pathology include granulomatous bronchiolitis, it usually related to TB, the more common cause, and diffuse bronchiolitis. It may affect everywhere in small lung. In chest X-ray, usually not detected to bronchiolitis, usually not detected at chest radiography, but may manifest with non-specific findings such as ill-defined small or hazy cluster nodule or area of air trapping characterized by hyperlucency and or oligemia. So this is two men or female with diagnosis of bronchiolitis. In the chest X-ray, we can see a general life prominent of bronchovascular marking in a very high distribution, but no confluent consolidation or collapse. This is the chest ray of the 15 months old male with diagnosis of viral bronchiolitis. We can see or we can find as perichylar coarse linear reticulation, which go from central to peripheral of the boss line. This is the case of respiratory bronchiolitis in tertiary lung disease. 
we can find patchy bilateral line opacity with a mid upper zone distribution. We can see patchy bilateral line opacity, or we can say a reticular pattern in both lung field with some tiny nodule mostly in the lung base. This is a case of six years old male with diagnosis of bronchial bronchiolitis apetran in his chest radiograph demonstrates sickening and dilated of bronchial in both lung, but we can see clearly in the chest x-ray like bilateral diffuse mosaic attenuation pattern representing air draping and normal parenchyma. This associated bronchial dilatation with signet ring apparent in the right upper lobe and both lobe lobe represent bronchial etasis. So it usually we can find the apparent of bronchiolitis of brethren in the chest x-ray, uh, in the CT chest by finding of bronchial dilatation with signet ring. It mean it is uh, represent the bronchiolitis plus or plus mosaic attenuation pattern which represents air draping and not more parenchyma. So in CT, the presence of bronchiolitis is best assessed with HRCT. So we can find some a combination one of the one of the combination of the sentry lobular micronodule, bronchial sickening, bronchiolar dilatation, mosaic attenuation. So this is the case of the bronchiolitis in 15 years old male with diagnosis of infectious bronchiolitis. We can see the extensive bilateral tree in good apparent. So the features we compare to the a tree which is just uh, giving a tree input, just giving as the boot with the brand and look like tree input apparent. So this is the case of 75 years old male with diagnosis bronchiolitis. We can see intense bronchiolar moral inflammation characterized as bronchiolar wall sickening associated with centrilobal nodule that are usually associated with so sub peripheral area of the tree in boot pattern. This is a case of five years old male with diagnosis of tracheal foreign body with bronchiolitis. Bronchiolitis 
we can see a linear structure is in transverse located within the track here, about one cm in length about the carina. And there are associated signs of right-sided pulmonary infection in the form of multiple sentry loba micronodule with non-evident tree input opacity and surrounding ground glass hazy. Haziness, these chains are highly suspective, suggestive of small airway disease, mostly bronchiolitis. This is another case of 50 years old male with diffuse or pain bronchiolitis. We can see bronchial dilatation with signal ring apparent in the both upper and lower lobe bronchi on both sides. Branching sentry lobular nodule is standing to small branching linear area of attenuation seen diffusely in both lung, shoe in the sub pleural secondary to pulmonary lobe lobe. This is a case of respiratory bronchiolitis with interstitial lung disease. Minor deterioration in the ground glass infiltrate is noted in the posterior aspect of the right upper lobe and in the posterior aspect of the right lower lobe. The remaining area of ground glass so no interim chain. The focal area of rounded pneumonia in the left lower lobe has almost complete resolved in the interim, the small focal area of consolidation in the posterior basal segment, right lobe lobe is unchanged in the interim. Multiple bullae persist predominantly in an upper and mid lung zone distribution. Multiple small Sooty lamb node also remain in the abdomen and in the mediastinum. This is a case of 45 old male with diagnosis of follicular bronchiolitis. We can see widespread small centilobular ground glass nodule can be noted in both lung, predominantly in lower lung zone. There is a small patchy consolidation in the period highlight region of the left lower lobe. We can see diffuse bronchial wall sickening is noted. There is no evidence of significant mucus plugging. There is no pleural fusion. Take home missing. Bronchiolitis is usually not detected at or in chest radiography, but may manifest with non-specific findings such as elephant small or AC cluster nodule or area of air tripping characterized by hyperlucency and or oligemia. The presence of bronchiolitis is best assessed in age or CT with a combination feature. Thank you.